Hello Africa, hello Motherland. Welcome to Success Talk with Noma TV. Our program is Masterclass with Noma. As you know, on Success Talk TV, we are talking to you, the woman on a road to success. You are not where you want to be, but you are glad you are not where you used to be. So this is where we are on a road to success. So today I'm just going to talk to you about vision. Because that is the first thing that you need. If you want to succeed, you must have a vision. So it should it should start with a vision board. I have several vision boards myself. So the best way to write a vision, to do a vision board is to start with a vision letter. So you write yourself a letter. The letter should be just addressed to... 2020 norma and just or be written by 2020 norma telling 20 2030 norma telling 2020 norma that you've succeeded this is where you are this is what you've done and then from that letter then you just pick up a couple of old magazines and then start pinning them on an old at the back of an old calendar you don't need much you don't need much you know so then you just have your vision board and then just put it where you can see it every day. So that's that's my advice to you today. Have a vision. Once you have that vision, then start crafting up your supporting goals for that vision. I can tell you that before I had a vision, my business did not go anywhere. I've, I've been starting... And let me not say ending. I've been starting businesses and they've been ending on their own since like, I don't know, a long time. My first business, I was with a group of four ladies, a group of six ladies who were like, you know, money lending. Yeah, so we lent the money out. One of our, one of the ladies decided to run off to Canada with our money. <laughs> so we learned our lessons there. I learned my lesson there that maybe sometimes you need to, to have fewer ladies. And we really didn't have a vision. We're just doing it. And then the next thing I had the second my second business was Green Horizon Distributors were selling stationery. So we did have a lot of customers and this time it was just four of us, four women we were doing this business together. It went very well, but you know, the other ladies didn't really have a passion. At the end, I realized that I was the one who was getting all the customers. And then, you know, you then you start to think, you know, these girls are not doing anything. They're just spectators here. They're not even interested in what we're doing. They don't want to be business people and... Yeah, so that business just also just fizzled into thin air. Then I started, then I had a restaurant in 2010. This time I was on my own, I was solo, but still I did not have a vision. And because I didn't have a vision, by 2012, the restaurant had closed down. Despite me having, the, uh, despite me a year, a, a year earlier, Having graduated from NAS with an executive master's in business administration, my business failed with an $8 loss. <laughs> yeah, I remember one of my friends in college laughing at me. I made a loss of $8. Yeah, it was funny. And because I had a job, I could laugh about it because the job was sustaining me. But then in 2015, when I started my business, now I decided, you know what? I'm going to take lessons that I've learned from the previous businesses that have started. Now I need to research and read what makes a successful business. That's when I began to read, you know, picked up some books, you know, Richest Men in Babylon, Think and Grow Rich, Rich Dead, Poor Dead. You know, this is my library. You know, this is, I read. So I started to read those books and my mind began to be opened. And then I was like saying to myself, now I'm in it to win. I am not quitting. And if I had been joking to myself, 
by 2017, the company, the NGO where I was working, closed down. So it was now do or die. I'm a single woman. Really <laughs> taking care of me is my responsibility. Yeah, so I had to. So now there was no room for failure. And yeah, I was glad I got a good package of 3,500. 3,500. And I was able to go and buy my car put it together with some money that I had, then I was able to go and buy myself my a Honda Fit. But this time I had a vision, I had a vision. And then as I went on, I began to have even networks, I began to even learn, I attended conferences and conferences on business, started to meet other entrepreneurs, started courses, you know. And the next thing I know, I now have like my business, my hotel and catering business. I have a guest house right now, and then I have a catering company on the side, and I have a restaurant as well inside the guest house. So I am working and I am focused, and in my vision board, I have put that I am a success coach, and which is which is what brings me here. I am successfully coaching you to success, and as I successfully coach you to success, I am learning from you. So have a vision. Go and do your vision. But until next time, goodbye and God bless.